if I will ask you, which of these two pictures is Instagrammable? You might probably choose the picture on the right. Let me guess. You chose this because the picture looks lively because of its vibrant colors. We see this because of light. In this lesson, we will talk about visible light and colors. Specifically, we will explain the hierarchy of colors in relation to energy. But before that, we need to understand first the concept of light. Light is an energy that stimulates the sense of sight and makes things visible. It can be characterized as a wave and a particle. Light waves are transverse, which move perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the vibrating particles. In the past lessons, we can recall that a wave is a disturbance in the space and time that repeatedly and progressively propagates from one point to another. And sound is one of the examples of longitudinal mechanical waves. This means that sound waves require a medium to travel. Another type of wave is electromagnetic wave. This type of wave does not require medium to travel. One example of this is light. The frequency of electromagnetic waves corresponds to the kind of light. This is characterized by the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum is a range of electromagnetic radiation arranged in terms of their frequency or wavelength. An electromagnetic radiation is composed of gamma rays, X-rays, ultraviolet rays, visible light, infrared, microwaves, and radio waves. The only part of the spectrum that is visible to human eyes is the visible light. Visible light lies between infrared and ultraviolet rays. The color of light is an indication of its energy level. Most of you are familiar with a triangular piece of thick glass called prism. When a white light passes through a prism, a continuous spectrum of colors is seen. This is called the dispersion of light. The colors are arranged in an order based on their wavelength and frequency. And white light is made up of all the colors in the spectrum. For sound waves, the frequency indicates the intensity of the sound. For light, the frequency indicates the color. In this table, you can see the arrangement of colors depending on their wavelength. Red has the longest wavelength while violet has the shortest. We can recall that frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength. This means that even though red has the longest wavelength, it has the lowest frequency, while violet has the greatest frequency. All electromagnetic radiation moves at the speed of light, which is the highest possible speed. The speed of light in vacuum is equal to 300 million or 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. Waves move at a speed that is equal to the wavelength times frequency. This product will be equal to the speed of light for any electromagnetic radiation. Why do you think our sunsets red? Sunsets are mostly red in color due to scattering of light. As the sun approaches the horizon line, sunlight must transverse a greater distance through our atmosphere. The appearance of the sun changes with the time of the day. While it may be yellow during midday, it is often found to gradually turn color as it approaches sunset. As the path that sunlight takes through our atmosphere increases in length, Froygebiv encounters more atmospheric particles. This results in the scattering of greater amount of yellow light. During sunset hours, the light passing through our atmosphere to our eyes tends to be most concentrated with red and orange frequencies of light. For this reason, 
the sunset have reddish orange hue. In this lesson, you learned that white light is a combination of all colors, and colors in the spectrum are arranged based on their wavelength and frequency. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.